Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is June 4th, and an exciting day as we premiere our new creative Creativity is Calling Catalog for the 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! year. So excited about this catalog. If you do not have a copy of it um, and are interested in getting one, um, please contact me um, on my website, stampingwithlinda.com. Um, today is Tuesday, so Creative Fold, the release of the new catalog, and I am going to be sharing a Creative Fold using the new Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. Now this um, Creative Fold is part of my PDF tutorial that I am offering um, this month uh, with a $30 order in my online store. So you want to head over to stampingwithlinda.com, find out all the details how you can get nine um, exclusive um, cards and a box made with this designer series paper and the beautiful new Good Morning Magnolia stamp set and the fragrance. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with our project. I'm going to bring in um, my trimmer. I have a piece of Mossy Meadow. This measures five and a half by 11. I have two pieces of Designer Series paper, the Magnolia, um, memory uh, designer series paper. One of them measures uh, two and a half by four and excuse me one of them measures two and three quarter by five and a quarter and the other one is three and a half by five and a quarter. So I've got those two. I also have a piece of Whisper White. This measures four by five and a half and I've already taken the blends and have colored that in. I have also used our new um, dies. These are the stitched nesting uh, labels dies and I absolutely love them. They layer on top of each other and I cut um, the mossy metal one out of a two and a half by four. So then that gives me a nice um, negative frame that I can use for another card. And then I have um, a piece of the Whisper White um, cut out with a smaller um, label, again with a die cut machine. I have already taken the smaller uh, Magnolia and cut it out with a frame. And so the main focus on this card is going to be um, the folding of the card. So again, I have a five and a half by 11 and I have my trimmer. So I'm gonna bring that in and I am going to score it at three and three quarter and at eight. And this is going to form my trifold card. We've got like so. I am going to take the smaller piece of, let me get my bone folder in here and just make sure that crease is nice and even. I'm going to take my smaller um, piece of designer series paper. Again, this measures uh, two and three quarter by five and a quarter and I'm going to put that on the flap like so. I'm going to take that bigger piece. This um, measures the three and a half by five and a quarter. I'm going to put that on the inside like so. My piece of white that is four by five and a quarter that I've already stamped it's just going to go on the inside like so. So I've got that. I'm going to bring in um, those stitch nested labels. I'm going to grab my Mossy Meadow ink pad and I'm going to stamp the hello over to the right 
of that label a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is grab a dimensional and I'm going to put the layering labels together. Like so. I'm going to grab that magnolia blossom and just going to add that to my card here and then add that to my flap. Again, this card is part of my PDF tutorial that you are going to want to get your hands on. Um, so I've got that. What I have taken, this is the ribbon uh, from that Magnolia Suite, and it is um, a tan color, but what I have taken is just my blends, and when you take your blends, I'm going to just color that on a darker, here's a scrap piece of paper I can put down, but when you take your blends, you can actually color that ribbon. You can color any of your embellishments and change the color of them, so I still have that little layer of um, white stripe, but then I have changed that to be um, Old Olive, which matches that um, Mossy Metal real well. So I'm just going to tie a square knot. Something when you do um, color your ribbon, your ribbon becomes a little stiffer um, with the blends once it dries. I've got that, and we're just going to trim that off, and there you have it, a fun Create a Fold trifold card using the new uh, Magnolia uh, Suite. Again, head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, to learn how you can get this exclusive PDF tutorial with a $30 purchase in my online store. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.